Gemini, welcome to your general love reading. I hope all is well and fabulous for you. So instead of my traditional full storyboard, I decided to take, shake things up a bit. I can't speak. I know I can. I've been doing it all day and that's half the problem right there. <laughs> I'm tired. Anyway, I decided to shake things up a bit. I usually do a full storyboard, but I decided to go ahead and do some direct placements because, you know, I'm bored. <laughs> But, of course, as always, reverse energies as you see fit. What's going on? Show me what I need to see, please, for Gemini. What's going on? You, if you are new to my channel, welcome. You will notice I'm a little different. If you like it, if you vibe with it, if you like the energy, if you like how I do things around here, let me know in the comments. Subscribe, thumbs up, maybe even hit the bell. I appreciate it. What's going on, please? Show me that Gemini energy. What's going on for Gemini, please? Show me what I need to see, please, for... Gemini, this is the Botticelli deck, yeah. What's going on, please? Show me. What was that? The Knight of Swords and the Knight of Cups. Oh, yes. Mm, is somebody taking action towards some love messages? What's going on? That's for some of you, not all of you. What's going on? Show me that recent past. We're going to start off with the recent past like usual, and then it's going to modify from there. Show me the recent past, please, for Gemini. Show me that recent past, please, for Gemini. Recent past. We're all on different timelines on tarot, okay? Take what resonates. Leave it does not. If it's not your story, don't force it to fit. It's normal when portions resonate. Sometimes a great deal, sometimes none whatsoever. If that's the case, check out your other placements, or I'll catch you on the next one. What's going on, please? Show me that recent past. Show me that recent past... Knight of Pentacles, live and flow. Well, sometimes we have to, okay? Also representation of the strategy, which I know you can appreciate. The Knight of Pentacles, Virgo Capricorn Taurus, that may not mean anything to you at all. Three of Wands, yeah, I bet. Somebody was waiting if they were moving slow. <laughs> moving our energy slowly, but hopefully it served a purpose. What's in front of that Knight of Pentacles? What's he looking at? Or she, doesn't matter. What's that Knight of Pentacles looking at, please? What's that Knight of Pentacles looking at, please? Want some, wanting to gain momentum. That's nothing but action now. Knight of Pentacles, Six of Swords, the Chariot. Let me know if you're dealing with cancer or if you have cancer in your placement. Okay. Somebody wanted to develop a strategy to move forward. The inclination was there. It started off slow, more like a strategy, like I said, a concept. Uh, working out the details and movement, movement, movement. <sighs> Baby. Whew. Oh my. I got a strategy. I'm going to work on it. I want to move this forward. Or i got to clarify this because I'm already suspecting there was a blockage despite intention. So that's a hell of a lot. That It's it's strategy and then momentum. Wow. Oh, I can't wait to clarify this one. What's going on? You had your sights on somebody, Page of Swords. Well, you put a lot of thought in them too. Let's move this forward. How do I move this forward? Let's get this forward. Let's move it forward. Strategy first. How do I approach them? Page of Swords. Possibly some level spying. Okay. All right. Let's fast forward. What's Gemini's current energy? What's this was in recent past? Of course, we will clarify. Show me Gemini's current energy, please. What is Gemini's current energy, please? Too many. Too many in your current energy. We have the Five of Swords. Four of Wands, you struggle to be happy, and you're still watching. Page of Swords, what happened, baby? After all this momentum, what happened? You're struggling to be happy. You feel like you should be, but it's a struggle. It's a struggle with yourself. It's like, why am I not happy? I'm supposed to be. And you're still watching. Page of Swords, so it didn't go through. Knave of Pentacles, it was too small. The effort was too small. Something like that. It was too small of an offer. There wasn't enough to work with. Okay. Judgment. Some would say the scar card of Scorpio, but it does not have to be. So, judgment call. Um, your current situation. Judgment call. Some of you have like, you know what? I washed my hands of this situation. I'm leaving it up to divine guidance and or timing. I gave this little spiel to Pisces. I'm going to give it to you too. Um, when we want divine timing or divine judgment to happen for us, we're never going to get it. It works behind the scenes. We often don't know that divine judgment timing, planning, etc. doesn't happen until after the fact. And you know that because if it had worked out any other way, it would have been disastrous. So you will never know until after the fact. That's true divine guidance. You're not aware of it. So anyone who's like, you know what? I'm going to let the fates work this out. I wash my hands of this. No. It doesn't work like that. It's when we ask for it is when we're not going to receive it. And that's usually the real test. We're going to figure out which one's for you. Some of you are hoping for divine guidance. Or divine guidance head your way. 
let's take a look. Let's keep going. How does this person perceive Gemini? How does this person perceive Gemini, please? How does this person perceive Gemini? How does this person perceive Gem Okay. That you are emotionally distant or emotionally unavailable. Eight of Cups. And that's a pretty strong in representation there. Um, because this is kind of like the wise guy. Like, I'm smart. I know what's up. I read the book. And I have concluded this person is emotionally unavailable, detached, or they just don't care about me. You know, they don't care about me. Okay. So that's kind of a harsh concluded conclusion that you kind of waltzed away from them. That you've emotionally checked out. You're not available. Or um, they don't care. They just don't care about me. I took a look at the cups and... There's no evidence here to support that Gemini cares or gives a shit. Something like that. I know it's hard. In this deck, it's Data Cups a little more harsh. You know. Okay. Some of the future energy, please, of this connection. Some of, we will clarify, of course. There's a reason we go beyond the baseline. Show me the future energy, please, for this connection. Show me, okay. Six of Wands. Victory, pride, confidence, strength, the fool. Oh, is somebody going to take some action here? Is somebody going to take some action here? It was a bit of a struggle, but... What's in front of the fool? What's in front of the fool? Ten of Pentacles, strength of conviction behind this, working through the pain. Somebody has to get over the regret and, and, and tap their sense of strength, but we're still not taking all that many. Can we narrow it down? What's the fool looking at? The Empress at the bottom of the deck, dual card of Taurus Libra, that's for some of you, not all of you. What's in front of the Fool, please? What is the Fool looking at directly, please? What's the Fool looking at? If you're new to my channel, yes, I flip out my cards, the Tower. Again, heavy Scorpio energy here. Some of you are trying to get the Sun. Some of you just want to feel the warmth of the Sun either in a new connection or with this other person who has a very strong idea of you. Perception is not fact, it's just how we operate in the world. So if someone is perceiving you as emotionally unavailable, it doesn't mean it's true, it's just how they've perceived you. They are operating by what you've given them to work with. Okay, something like that. Okay, so in the future energy here, somebody is thinking about taking a risk. They're trying to get the nerve up, give themselves that pep talk with the Six of Wands energy, I can do this. I can do this, I can take a risk, I can take a chance, I can be the fool, I can do this. I can do this. And you realize it might shock the other person, but it's kind of like it's a happy one, like, ha, ah, you know, hey, I'm the fool, don't worry about it, it's cool, it's cool, it's cool, we're cool, everybody's cool here. Like, don't freak out too much, don't freak out. Gemini's like, oh, hey, what's up, hey. <laughs> don't freak out. <laughs> <laughs> Which is so you. That's so your approach. Hey, you. It's been a while, but uh, <laughs> don't freak out. <laughs> the sun's at the bottom of the deck. Let me know if you're dealing with Leo or if you have Leo in your placement. Uh, and this, the warmth. Feeling the warmth of the sun. That's the underlying motivation behind this. Feeling the warmth of the sun. It does not have to be with this person. It could be with somebody brand new. It, but since the shock element is kind of here and it's looking external as opposed to internal, I feel like you are surprising somebody. <laughs> But you're doing it with like, I can do this, I can do this, I can do this, six of wands, I can do this. All right, I dig it, I dig it. What's the advice, please? What's the advice, please? What's the advice and or action for Gemini? What's the advice, okay. What's the advice and or action for Gemini, please? What's the advice and or action? Queen of baby, I called it. I don't know what to tell you, honey, I did. You got it. Like, I, I knew it was headed in this direction. But I try not to call it prematurely. Um, yes, make a decision to reconnect. That's it. And that's your energy, Queen of Swords. I understand my decision. And I'm going to do it. Three of Cups. Okay, we will clarify. Because the baseline's lovely. Alright? But let's see if you actually do it. I hope you do. It looks like it means a lot to you. You wish to reconnect, and it's a, it's a decision. A decision you actually arrive to. Your execution of it is cute, uh, but your decision is is quite clear. Okay, you wish to reconnect. That's it. Okay, show me the overall underlying, overall underlying, overall underlying. I just saw the hair font. Let me know if you're connecting with Taurus or if you have Taurus in your chart. I just saw the overall. No? Why did I say that? Was that the overall energy? Was the hair font? We'll find out. Show me the overall underlying. Overall under. For some of you, that is the core issue. The Emperor. Woohoo! Okay, somebody got a little too much pride here. 
that's the underlying issue. Okay. I think somebody confuses their pride with confidence. Um, there are people, there are plenty of people in this world who have a great deal of pride and absolutely no confidence to back it up. Sorry, said it, hashtag, sorry, not sorry. I was like, I have pride, I have pride, I have pride. It's the false pride, not the positive pride. Somebody needs to get past their pride and their firm decision here to do this thing. There's a difference between confidence and pride. Just because you have pride does not mean you have confidence. You know, and there's people who have a great deal of confidence and very little pride. It happens, absolutely. And I feel like somebody needs to, frankly, just get over it, one or the other. <laughs> We're having to get the confidence up to do this. And the underlying overall issue here is that somebody's had a phenomenal amount of pride, stubbornness. It's my way or the highway. This is how I think. This is how I operate. And I'm not giving anybody else any wiggle room to interfere with that or deter my decision or change my mind. Let me know if you're dealing with Aries. You know, it's, 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 are they proudful? Absolutely. Now they got a lot going on. The emperors know, they're not packing peanuts. They obviously have a lot going on, but that's still no excuse. Okay, some of you might have used your busyness as an excuse to delay or put this off. Um, yeah, it takes overcoming one's pride. Someone was too disconnected from their feelings. That's the interpretation this person has of you. There's nothing there. This Gemini or whoever doesn't care. They don't care about me. They don't care about my cups. There's the Eight of Cups here. The perception of you is quite strong. This is what I have concluded. This person has no feelings. In the general sense, they're just emotionally detached, or they have no feelings for me specifically, okay? So, not showing enough, not willing to be vulnerable to open up. In fact, strong about it, strong-willed about this decision, okay? Reverse energies as it applies. All right, here we go. Let's break it down, y'all. What's going on? Show me what I need to see, please, for the best possible clear. Hello! Five of Pentacles, yeah, there was obviously a disconnect. I was supposed to see it, therefore you were too. There was obviously a disconnect between you two. Possibly some arguing, however, that's not the biggest point. This was the bigger point. There's uh, abandonment here, okay, in this connection. Um, what's going on? Dude, seriously, everything's trying to come. Okay, okay, okay. Let's get to it. Let's get to it. All right, calm down, spirit. We're getting to it. What's going on? Show me what I need to see, please, for the best possible clarification for Gemini. What's going on? Let's do one more. Show me what I need to see, please, for the best possible clarification for Gemini. What's going on? Okay, Knight of Pentacles. The idea was here. The strategy was here. Forward momentum. And then it didn't, right? Show me this Knight of Pentacles. It was moving slow, but I, I, I am feeling like that's more of a strategy. And the plan was to move forward. And then I'm thinking something happened to that plan. Some of that Knight of Pentacles, please. What was the idea here? The anticipation. Oh. Oh. Ah. Mm. God, that just screamed at me. Okay, the three. Okay, three of wands. The anticipation. Somebody more than the other person anticipated momentum. And they were kept waiting too long for somebody to make a decision. Okay, so here was the strategy. Somebody had a, st I don't even know if that's the correct word. What am I trying to say? Somebody had a solid idea, a solid offer, and it was intended to move forward. And then the other, the, the anticipation, the waiting for the movement to go forward. It was, there was the implication of a decision here between two people. And it was just kept waiting, waiting, anticipation. And anticipation is lovely until it isn't, until you can't, it's like, it's, you're not even anticipating anymore. You're just waiting. You're, somebody was waiting for something to take off. The chariot was here twice and about a decision or an offer and it, or both. And it was just, it didn't take off despite, oh, the anticipation of it. Oh my God. It's real, dude. Seriously. Six of swords, six of swords, six of swords. So as the both of you did it, the both of you had this anticipation of moving forward, except for one person, it was actually real. The other person was like, oh, hang it back, hang it back. Yeah. I want to move forward. Hang it back. I'm going to ask you out. Oh, we're going to reschedule for two weeks later. Shit like that. You know what I'm saying? <sighs> Somebody could not get out of their processes. This is the way I do things. This is the way I've always done things. I'm not willing to think outside the box. I'm not willing to be flexible. There was an element here of trying. I'm trying to move this forward. Somebody and the other, they, they, the both of you anticipated forward momentum, except one person took it seriously. And the other person was like, I can't do it. 
I can't do it. I can't, I can't do it. I can't be flexible. I can't, I can't change my ways. I can't change my thinking. Something like that. Show me the Six of Swords. Show me the Six of Swords. Indecision. Told you. Somebody hung back. Somebody hung back. And yet anticipated forward momentum simultaneously. It was that. Absolutely. One person. I understand what I'm doing. I know what I'm offering. I, 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 I want to move this thing forward. The other person's like, me too. No. Yes. No. Gemini, your conflict if there ever was. Too much indecision. Too much indecision about moving forward despite the fact that it was meant to be a decision between the two of you. On the forefront, you both looked like you were for it, but somebody was holding back simultaneously, substantially so. I don't know what to do. Yes, you did. Your inclination was there the whole time. Somebody's was. Uh, show me the chariot, please. Show me the chariot, please. Show me the chariot. Show me the chariot. Show me the chariot. Show me the chariot. Three of swords and it caused heartbreak because there was no movement. Three of swords. That's it. Somebody was hanging out, longing, waiting too long. Okay? There was a promise here of movement between you two. It was meant to be of substance. And it... It was like an unspoken, that's what's so strange to me, I'm here, it's like an unspoken agreement between you two, that you were both meant to be on the same page, and on the forefront, it's like, I'm game, I'm game, I'm game, but somebody wasn't really. It was like, don't tell me it was a game of chicken. Was that it? Was that a game of chicken? Because somebody failed that game. <laughs> okay? As, as, as somebody was calling, either you were calling that person out, or they were calling you out, it's like, I'm game, let's do it, let's do it, and the other person's like, totally. Somebody got called out on Game of Chicken? Because somebody won and somebody lost. I do know that. And it caused heartbreak, though. I don't mean to reduce it into those simple childlike game com uh, games. It's, I don't mean to. But um, it, it for the other person, there was a confidence issue, which I'm seeing now. There was forward momentum between you two, a promise not made good upon. Somebody had something to offer, and they were going at a slow, steady pace okay and it's, they were both agreeing on the forefront but one of you actually wasn't somebody I'm sorry somebody chickened out they did they did you know I'm so sorry honey I know okay your current energy judgment let's see what's going on show me judgment please does somebody have what it takes to get over this loss Okay, does somebody have what it takes? Or that you're going to get hung up on the memories? All right, the Page of Pentacles. I left it to fate. I left it to chance. I left it hanging way too long, and it caused regret. And now somebody else has to work with. Instead of this lovely Knight of Pentacles, I know who I am. I know what I'm about. I know what I'm offering you. Energy is now just like this. This is what I have to work with now. And what I have is what I'm left with is a sense of regret and loss, remorse. They're not making good on it. And I, all I have now is this memory, this page of pentacles to reflect upon, and it's not pretty. It's not pretty, that Five of Cups energy. I left it to chance. I left things sitting way too long. How does this apply to the current energy? Because now all I'm seeing is a reflection of memories. So that tells me, again, that you're disconnected from this person. You're, somebody's actively gazing upon the memories with regret, loss, of chance not taken. Show me. How does that have to do with judgments? Do you have what it takes to break the silence? Do you have what it takes to drop a line of communication? Do you have what it takes to not wait for this idea of divine guidance anymore? Do you know how to use your intuition? Your intuition is... It's like I should have used... Oh, I'm hearing nothing but past tense concepts. I'm sorry. I can't see the current. I can't see the current. I'm hearing nothing but past tense concept. I should have listened to my intuition and not waited for this idea of divine timing or things to be just right because guess what? They're never just right. Nothing's ever just right. There's never a good time to do anything. Okay. I should have listened to my intuition. That's where the remorse is coming from. <clears throat> I should have listened to my intuition instead of waiting for the timing to be quote-unquote just right. That will never be just right timing, honey. Energies come into our lives for short periods of time, sometimes long periods of time. The idea is when they're presented to you, do you know how to make good on it? You never know when you'll see them again, if ever. You know? Some of the Eight of Cups, how they perceive you. So this is past tense. I'm sorry, honey. I can't get a current. 
It's um, or currently you still feel like you're kicking yourself in the ass, not having listened to your intuition, and instead waiting on divine guidance, and it feels like you got fucked over. And I understand. This is what happens when we like leave it to the gods, as it were. It's you're not meant to be aware of it. You're meant to be the receiving end of it, and by then it's after the fact. <sighs> your person is pulling up eight of wands, so their action and change. Um, this person has kind of given up the idea or the fantasy or you as an option that you will ever be emotionally available or even interested in them on the emotional level. Like, they really have very little hope that your cups for them, where they're concerned, are changed. They, again, back here, they understood it was going a certain way, and it didn't happen. So their perception of themselves is that they have moved their energy and actions forward, um, understanding that things never got beyond that Seven of Cups energy. This is kind of like the Seven of Pentacles equivalent, except it's emotional stagnation when it's just in fantasy. And that's, this person's like, I, I guess this was just a fantasy. This was just all in my head. I guess it didn't mean anything. Um, they're quite firm about it too. You know, um, they had to move away from this. It was a conscious decision on their part to make change for themselves. So there you go. There's the direction of their energy. Um, and it does look like a conscious decision on their part. It seems like I, I don't think Gemini has feelings for me because if they did, they would have moved towards me. Or we would have gotten on the same page. Or maybe it was all in my head. Maybe it was just all a big one fantasy. You know? Because as far as I can tell, there was never an actual output to this. Okay? Nothing that you can actually qualify or quantify. It just... It just didn't happen. All right. Show me the future energy, please. Some of the future energy, please. So it does look like they have moved their energy on from this idea of fantasy or that you're even an option. Um, they see you as being emotionally disconnected or you didn't take their cup seriously, something like that. What's going on? Show me what you need to see, please. Somebody still hopes to make this work, even if it's small. Okay. What's going on here, please? The future energy. Show me that Six of Wands energy. Confidence getting the nerve, as I said. Page ones. Okay, getting the nerve up. Getting the nerve up. Getting the nerve up. What you gearing up for, honey? It doesn't have to be with this person. It could be with somebody brand new. I do see that reconnection, but that's no guarantee. Show me the full energy, please. Getting the nerve up. Taking the risk. Getting the nerve up. Taking the risk. Sorry. It. <laughs> Show me the fool, please. 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 Taking the risk, how so? Being the fool, will you allow yourself to do it? Six of Pentacles in a structured, practical way. Possibly. Possibly. How so? Queen of Pentacles, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. You have to get out of your comfort zone. How so? Show me the tower. In a structured, practical way, you might find a way to balance up with this person. But you insist you need more perspective. And here's the slowdown. So, I believe you're trying to work your way up to it, but there's uh, Pisces, the Hanged Man, and then, um, why did I say that? The Hanged Man and Pisces card, and then uh, Temperance, the card of Sag. You need more perspective about healing. Some of you need literally need more perspective about a Sag. Some of you need to wreck, or you just like insist I need a timeout, so delay, delay, delay. I, I do feel like it's a delay. I think, honestly, Gemini, I feel like you already know everything it is you need to know, but, um... What is, what is the perspective here about communication? Honey, you already know what it is you need to know. You, to communicate, to take action, or otherwise, you know everything you need to know, but there's the tower. You gotta make good on it. I understand you don't want to shock the other person. I understand that, you know... <laughs> You don't want them to freak out. Um, part of you might think that you haven't healed enough. The reason I say you know what it is that you already need to know is that you have heavy communication concepts over the hanged man. You know everything you need to know. I'm seeing it. It's like, I'm not ready yet. I'm not ready yet. I need more time. I need more time. Then the tower's here twice. The eight of wands is here. Getting the nerve up is here. Understanding that you can balance up with this person in a practical and structured environment. Taking the risk. It's all here. So that's why I'm interpreting the hanged man as delay. I insist I need more perspective. I insist I need more perspective. And the more you insist upon that, the more you are going to be unhappy about this. Okay, um, you know, 
I need more time to heal. They need more time to heal. I don't want to shock the hell out of them. It's really, honestly, I just see it as a delay tactic, to be honest with you. It's it's more like you fighting yourself with the Five of Wands. You already know what it is that you want to do. It is, you're the one who's putting up the biggest resistance here. Okay. You wish to balance up with the Six of Cups. It would make you happy to express yourself to this person. But I am seeing what looks like an insistence upon delay. Okay. At least in the time being. Your advice and action is to make a decision to reconnect. Do you see how clear and cut that energy is? Quite literally, Queen of Swords, you do you. Arrive to the logical conclusion that you need to reconnect and so that this will go away. I see you trying to, you're trying to even put a plan around it with that Six of Pentacles in a comfortable, secure environment that's for the both of you. Okay? That you feel like you could relax and be the fool and take a risk in a way that's comfortable to the both of you in a shared environment, meet on neutral ground, that kind of thing, coffee shop, whatever, man. And the point is, it's like, it's there, the idea is there. But you allowing yourself to get out of hanged man in this insistence that I need perspective, you already know what to do, baby. You know, surprise is gonna be part and partial to the course. Five of Cups, man. It's like, it haunts you so much. It just haunts you so, it's not worth it, baby. It's not worth this pain. Some of the advice and the action that you need to take some of the advice and action, please. Some of the advice. Turn your... Sorry. Turn your back. This is what... Your card. Right there. Tried to come out. That's you. Okay? Nine of Cups. You know what would make you happy. 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 Okay? Turn your back. Queen of Cups, turn your back to the juggling, turn your back to the useless thoughts that go over and over again like the infinity loop. That's driving you crazy. Cut that bullshit out as the Queen of Swords. Make a decision to reconnect. You feel it's correct in your heart space. You know this. You know this. Turn your back on the juggling. This is sometimes harmonious going with the flow, but nothing about this is harmonious or going with the flow. You are going against yourself, your intuition, okay? This is something that didn't take off despite the potential it had. And there was an inflexibility here. Take your mind off the juggling, the uselessness of the repetitive thoughts. Make a firm decision. Your heart space on this is correct. Also use your intuition. You already know what would make you happy. Show me the emperor, please. It's the underlying issue here. Somebody too stubborn, too proud. And here's the thing. Proud, but the confidence. Uh-uh. Uh uh, pride, absolutely confidence, not so much. Show me, show me the emperor, please. Show me the emperor, please. There's a difference between the two. Show me the emperor, please. You gotta change your views on passion. You need to change your views on confidence. You need to change your views on, uh, on self-direction. Ace of Wands is self-direction. Where do I need to be? Where is my fire best served for myself and for others? You have got to change your views. It looks like antiquated. I'm sorry, the Emperor is also like that. Okay? It's this. You want to know who the Emperor is? He's like this guy. This is how we've always done it. So this is how we're always going to do it. That's who that is. It's so funny that the Emperor is associated with fire because he's the one that least represents it. You need to change your views on fire. It's antiquated. It doesn't serve you and it keeps you boxed the fuck in. Whoever I'm speaking to. Or your person. If you're cross-watching, then it's for you. <sighs> Get out of your head, man. Hit his swords. You need to change your views on passion and what confidence is and the difference between pride and confidence. Okay, it's not serving you to be inflexible. Well, this is how we've always done it, so this is what I'm always gonna do. Okay, we're almost out of time. Let's just see. Six of Cups just on the split right there. Nostalgia. Nostalgia, someone you've known a long time, and it's your truth right there. Ace of Swords, this person's your truth and six of cups. Gemini, I hope this served you. Put in the comments as you see fit. Take care. Be well.